cannot use pictures of all these dead and awful, horrific things the Israelis have done to these children and people, because they will censor me yet again. I'm two strikes down, third one, I'm out of here. So, all you got is a black screen for this one. Imagine the horrors that have transpired. Exactly what kind of crime could Israel do that would be horrendous enough to shake the US of its unconditional support? I thought for a long time about it. It took me a long time because it was hard to imagine anything worse than what Israel already does openly. Then I had an idea. Maybe eating babies. It's about all that is left in terms of lines to cross for Israel to see if the US Congress would ignore it or even apologize for it. Of course, no one in Israel is eating live babies or advocating such a thing. Yet. But that's the kind of extreme thing one would have to come up with in order to surpass all the real crimes Israel has done and are still doing. Israel is so bad that practically anything you could imagine would still sound possible because they're already so twisted. I mean, how do you top poisoning unborn children with depleted uranium or murdering ethically unwanted by radiation and telling them it was ringworm treatment? Radiation is a form of torture. It's a slow, agonizing death. Israel turns newborn babies into freak shows, and they also have no problem putting a bomb or a bullet through non-poisoned babies. One could argue that killing them with radiation poisoning might actually be worse and more painful to a baby and the family than to kill and eat them. It is at least possible, after all, that an animal could kill a baby and eat it. But only a human could purposefully cause birth defects from radioactive poison which ultimately kills a baby for nothing. One thing you can count on though is that Joe Biden would stand behind either case so long as it was Israel doing the killing. What else could be worse? Starvation? Not a problem. That's the whole point of Israel's blockade. The murder of infants? Not a problem. In fact, they'll delay an ambulance passing in order to kill the mother or the child on purpose. Torture? All the time. Organ harvesting? Check. Children's prison with sexual abuse? Check. Theft, genocide, chemical weapons, cluster bombs? Check, check, check and check. Shooting up schools and hospitals, check. In fact, up that one and add blowing them up completely. Brainwash kids to sign notes to bombs, sure. Murder humanitarian aid workers. Not only will they do that, they'll blame the victims and claim defense. You see, in Israel's twisted world, bringing food to starving people is terrorism. And yet murdering people trapped on a boat kidnapping the rest of them, confiscating their cameras and holding them in jail, forcing them to sign papers saying they can't sue, and beating the crap out of several more after they've been handcuffed, is defense. They say it with a straight face, after being caught faking both audio and photos of the event, and even falsely trying to link them to Al-Qaeda. After all that, they tried to act like they did nothing wrong and had no guilt or worry about what they were doing. Of course, Israel has been caught before faking Al-Qaeda attacks. They also got caught blowing up one of their own buses and blaming it on Hamas. They hijacked their own airliners and blamed their political enemies, bombed a US ship and tried to blame it on Egypt, and bombed Western targets in Egypt and tried to blame it on Egyptians. Israel is always attacking. 
Yet Israel always plays the victim. So, exactly what kind of exaggeration could you say about Israel that could compare to the things they already have done? You can't even make things up any worse than what they really do. Israel is hell on earth. What's next? Preemptive rape? If there was, you'd see the US Congress backing Israel up saying, well, she was asking for it. It's sad that you cannot show pictures without YouTube censoring us, and sad that you have to use the internet to spread the word because the MSM won't touch it. <laughs>